Hey guys, so yesterday The Sims 4 actually had a live stream for the new Growing Together pack and that is actually what I want to talk about today. But the live stream was so big and there's so much to talk about that today I actually want to talk about newborns and like the infants more than anything because newborns and infants just feel around the same age group and I'm going to show you about the new things they added. But yeah, there's just so much that it's just like hard to even comprehend, you know what I mean? It's just like so amazing when you see it and I really think that I'm going to love this um this game pack. It's literally going to be one of my new favorite ones and I'm literally counting down the days. It's hard not to play my families, so I just have. But anyways, yeah, let's just get right into the growing together trailer, not the trailer, but basically just what they're going to what we're going to be expecting in the new growing together pack and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. That would help so much. Thank you. So the first thing we're going to talk about is these new things that they've added, even if you don't get the expansion pack. So, like, they've added some new, like, kind of, like, uh, bassinets. As you can see, they got, like, the, like, tummy time mats. They got lamps, and they've got, like, little baskets, really cute weaving baskets. They got, like, new rugs and, like, really huge llamas, which, like, really looks so cute. Because, as you know, bassinets have only ever been in one style in The Sims 4. And it's just, like, one that you can change only into four colors. So, I really appreciate that. If you looked, you also got these kind of, like, weaved baskets and these kind of, like, holders. And bookshelves and mini tables and all this really cool stuff. Next, I want to go over to the, um, the, the play pens. As you know, we already have one for the toddler expansion, but now these can actually add baby proofing, which it says in the description of the one for the toddler pack, but does not actually do. So that is pretty cool, and they can actually break out of it if they want to. Next, I want to talk about the infants and what you can actually start to see from them. The Sims 4 team has actually admitted that they're actually going to be able to have the skin colors in a variety of colors. And there are new interactions between the infants and the parents. And also the parents can hold them in between each interaction, which is pretty cool. And they're going to be able to move more like newborn like to be able to get more of that realistic feel. So I really love that as well. It's very adorable. I also want to talk about how basically you can now change the outfits. If you know, there's only like two or three outfits you can only have for your newborn Sims. And now you literally have the option to be able to change them into any outfit you want, which is like really, really incredible because I'm not used to seeing a baby newborn Sim like this. And look how many outfits there are. They're so cute. You got like the bubblegum berry, the hip hip hooray, the cosmic ray. What does that say? Bits or something like that? I don't know. Or the fish tastic. But honestly, like th this is this is really exciting. Like I, I can't wait. I sat there doing my homework yesterday watching this live stream and you know, cause who who wouldn't? Who would miss the live stream? But if you did, then that's okay. The if you want, the Sims 4 actually has their um on their channel, you can go look back and see the thing where they did the live stream. Anyways, what I want to show you is how they age up. And how they age up is actually pretty unique because it's never been like this before. They've usually just rolled out, but this one's pretty cool. Because as you're about to see in the moment, you're actually about to see how the um, infants age up. Basically, the parents go to take a picture. They go to take a nice, proud picture of their kids. And then you actually get these kind of like new um, traits as well. So I'm about to show you that in a moment. But here we go. There's about to be the the aging up thing. So that's pretty cool. See how she's taking a picture. And uh, this is pretty neat. So basically it's the same except for when you get to the traits. There are six new traits called cautious, sensitive, calm, intense, and wiggly and sunny. They also have a variety of new different kinds of outfits. Now, some of the clothes I have seen, half of them do look like they have been from the toddler pack, like ones that you've been able to put on your toddler as inspirations for ones that you can actually put on your infants because they would look cute on the infants as well. But yeah, there are actually a new variety of like different like outfits that you can put on them as like you can see the bear onesie and the cute glasses. Like, look at those glasses, guys. They're, they're really cute. Or the little head thing that you can put on your kid. Next, I want to talk about bath time. Look how cute. And it's just like the trailer. And it looks like she's kind of like stored in a little like egg cubby. But anyways, next, I want to talk about the food. There's like a variety of new different foods. And I literally can't wait to see them try each one. Oh, oh so if you don't know, it seems like the bottle 
like feeding them the bottle interaction works the same as if they were a newborn so that's pretty neat to watch and as you can see she's actually trying her first food which is really really neat and she seems like she likes it a little bit i don't know but if they don't like it too much as as you just saw the little baby do she was like no thank you mom i'm not really going to I'm not going to be participating in all of that. But it's really cute how she eats the food. Look at her. The mom has so much to clean up after that. Also, they can play with the same toys that toddlers can. And, like, the interaction between it is so cute. But also, the kids can now have interactions between the infants, which is really, really neat. And, you know, they got the little tummy time mat over there. That's pretty cool. Now, what's really neat is that they actually have a bunch of new interactions between the kids and the infants, which you can see they did peekaboo, but it, te it seems like she just does not like it. She is not having it today. But yeah, they have those. And also, if you have a good handiness skill, they don't come with this, but you can actually add the mobile to the crib to be able to, like, you know, like, play music for your infants so that they can fall asleep faster. Now, they actually said that some infants will be fussier than others, and it'll take longer to put some down more than others. But, as you can see, this is kind of like an example of an easy baby. So she's like putting her baby down for a little bit of a rest, you know what I mean? And basically, she's going to turn on the mobile for the baby to go to sleep. And as you can see, the baby like literally instantly goes to sleep. Now, some babies will not be like this. Like I said, some babies are going to be fussy and hard to control. You know, you're going to have to like take a longer time to actually put them to sleep and, you know, things like that. Anyways... Next, I also want to talk about some of the new quirks. There's like a bunch of new discoverable quirks you can find in your infants. But um, here's just an example of the one where they like to be held all the time. They do not like to be put down. So the dad's going to put him down. And you can see he immediately went from like 1 to 100 and like literally did not like the fact that his dad like had put him down. Also, as you can see, they're about to do a little bit of tummy time, which is pretty cool because that is just something I think about with moms doing with their babies in real life. So to actually see them do that with their babies is actually really, really neat. So as you can see there, it's really cute. They're doing a little bit of tummy time and it's really adorable because the baby's just trying to get a hang of it. And the mom's there to help the baby like every step of the way. But he's still mad from being woken up, so you know. Also now for every age group, they also got new like milestones and firsts, which I'm really, really excited to see how they work. So yeah, there you go, guys. That is the whole like little summary on the infants and the newborns for the new Growing Together pack. Now, I'm sure I missed a couple of things and I tried to look to make sure I didn't. But anyways, yeah, that's basically just all for now. Again, please like and subscribe. That would really, really help me out. I'd really, really appreciate it. And I can't wait for this update. It looks like it's just filled with so much. It just filled to the brim with so much and i truly appreciate when like the over hype is actually worth the hype and just yeah overall i really think that this is going to be a really great pack and i'm just really really going to enjoy it especially now having infants in our game and like look at them just dancing around and stuff i'm just so excited but what do you guys think are you actually excited for this new update and if so what are you going to be the most excited for anyways that's all i have time for for this video see you guys next time Bye bye